Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Harry from HP Studios, and today I'm back with a new video. And this is the Q&A video I've been talking about. So, I will... I have received many questions about me, about the channel, about all this other stuff. So yeah, let's get right into all those questions. Okay, to start this from Smith and Artie Confirmed. Smith and Artie Confirmed said... Uh... About how long does it take to do a stop motion episode? So, my stop motion episodes... Usually, 20 minutes a day for about two weeks, on the holidays, right? Um, if I have school, that means I have to do it on the weekends, I probably have homework, so I probably do it like, uh, just like a little bit over the weekend, like about 10 minutes a weekend. So it probably takes about four weeks to do a stop motion episode during um, weekdays, but um, probably only two weeks, um... Two, yeah, two weeks to, to film it in um, the holidays. But it does take a very long time to plan it. So, um, yeah, you have to write the script. You have to print the script out. You have to get voice actors. I usually just voice everyone. I have a couple of people that voice act. Um, Jordan Films does lots of voice acting. He helps me out. I help him out. He, I help him out a bit with um, stop motion. Okay, so... Let's check out someone else. Clive Palmer said, Do you know the why? Yeah, do know the why. Do know the why? <laughs> um, oh yeah, he also said, Will you still be into Lego in 10 years? Yeah. There's lots of Lego YouTubers, like Jane Bricks, that are like 30 years old. But I don't know his age, but he looks about around 30 years old. Um, lots of people, like AFLs. I want to be into it. I want to collect Lego. I... I like use like we I around this age um, Lego YouTubers don't really aren't really into Lego they get out um, but usually they come back into it but I'm just gonna keep going keep collecting I don't play with Lego like I used to when I was a kid but now I just collect just spend all my money on Lego thousands of dollars of Lego um, uh, Clark Palmer also said. What lights do you use? Um, I use the softbox lights. I'll go downstairs and I'll show you that right now. So these are the lights I use. The softbox lights. Um, they look very nice. They're probably one of the best YouTuber lights. That's what um, the people said. <laughs> um, as you can see, perfect. No shadows at all. Well, there is shadows, but they're only natural shadows. Um... I really honestly don't know where I got them from, but they're just called Softbox Lighting Kit if you're interested. Um, so yeah, these are very nice lights. Let's go on Instagram, private DMs. How much do you earn? Oh, how much do I earn? Wow, one to seventeen dollars a month. God, we're catching up to PewDiePie, guys. Thirteen to two hundred and three dollars a year. So we basically get like $200 a year. And daily, right? It's like um, 109 views a day, roughly. We get like 300 views to one. It's like 81 views a day. Um, oh, this crap. Um, and you can do like the live thing. That's cool. Just on Social Blade. Um, we roughly earn around about two, $1 to $2 a day. Which we get up to like... Yeah, one to two dollars. Um, that's the average, but we earn way more than fifty six dollars or fifty six cents a day. Um, that's just the subs and views and stuff. Um, so we earn double the people. You know how all the videos like we earn one dollar a day and the African people. Yeah, we earn double that. So that's pretty good. We can live off that. Two dollars a day. Probably get a two dollar frozen meal a day. That, you know what? That can work. We can use that. Don't you just love ads? So monetization-wise, I'm probably... Like, I've, I've registered. I've, we've got over um, 100k views. So we've probably... I think we've got 32,000 views or something like around about that. Um, Jeez. Um, YouTube hasn't replied yet. They just haven't replied yet for... If our um, uh, content's friendly, child-friendly... Since it's a Lego channel, it probably will be, but my latest content's a bit sketchy. <laughs> um, 
especially that Logan Paul video. And YouTube just loves taking down Logan Paul videos. So, mm, probably, like, if we get ads in the future, just letting you know, I've just got, um, I'm just put ads on. Because I really want to put ads on. I really want to get that revenue. Because we're not earning any of that money. That's just how much Social Blade says we're going to get if we do put ads on. Um, I don't even know how the system works. <laughs> I don't even think I have the right address to put in. It's probably just going to send to my old house. But, um... So yeah, that's how much we earn. <laughs> Clive Palmer also said, what is your favourite Lego minifigure? My favourite Lego minifigure would have to be Lego Davy Jones of the Pirates of the Caribbean line. And I really like Davy Jones because he's actually worth like about $150. And he comes with the Black Pearl set, which is one of my favourite Lego sets. And he's got this really nice core and just a really nice piece. And he's just really good. I really enjoy him. Smith and Artie Confirmed also said, how many Lego sets do you have? Too many. He also said, what is your inspiration for stop motion filming? Um, just other stop motion YouTubers like um, Jack Filmer. I've talked to him a bit and I'm very inspired by his um, Lego Batman stop motion. I'm not copying off him at all. But um, just very inspired by other YouTubers and what they've done. And, I've just, and I want to do something different than what they've done. So... Yeah, and I'm just very inspired by that, and I, w I also want, kind of want to be a director when I'm older, so that's what I'm interested in, and how I got into LEGO, when I was like four years old, my mum just brought me a LEGO set. I think it was a LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars tank with Yoda, the droid tank, and yeah, I just got into LEGO and collected, but I roughly have over $20,000 of LEGO, I'm 100% sure of that. And I cannot count how many sets I have. But I'll just show you all the sets now. But, um, guys, I was kind of over-exaggerating when I said $20,000. But I still have a lot of Lego sets. A lot of stuff. Um, I'm not really going <laughs> to say how much. I, I don't really know how much it is. I also got that train for Christmas. I forgot to um, tell you that um, in the last couple of videos. I've got all these drawers full of Lego, just pieces. So yeah, that's all the Lego. Have I met any famous people? I have met a few famous people, and I've framed everything because I'm very proud of all the people I've met. So, um, I've met Bomble of The Hobbit, you know that guy of The Hobbit? Um, I've met him, Stan Lee, I met Stan Lee, and I got his autograph. It's worth a lot of money. Pay like 150 bucks to get it, and I've met Millie Bobby Brown of Stranger Things, and so that's the picture. I framed them all. I'm gonna hang them up because I'm very proud of everything. Uh, yeah, I, we all went to Supernova Australia, and we got um, their autographs and that. Um, they're in separate separate things. Like one year I got, um, well, one year I got the uh, Bumble picture. I also got a picture, but it's very embarrassing. I dressed up as the Joker, and I was like five years old. <laughs> um, uh, I was probably like 12. Um, and yeah, Stanley and Millie was in like the same day, and so that was a very good day. I was very depressed after because it was only about Stanley didn't even look at me. I was like, hey Stan, and then um, I'm like, yeah, good on you Stan, and I like did that, and he didn't even look, he didn't even move a muscle in his face. And I, me and my friend were very depressed after, we were like, oh god, that went so quick. And Millie was just like, hi, we took a photo, and uh, and it, uh, I'm so depressed just thinking about it now. Uh. Christopher Chang says, very good, your Batman series is very good, but didn't the prisoners die at the end of season one? Well, they got knocked out, they got beaten up by the, um, League of Assassins. But, and then, um, uh, Commissioner Gordon came in, right? And he came before they could kill them. So, yeah, that's why the, all the prisoners, because he saw them at the start of season two, um, like Two-Face. I don't, I don't want to kill them off. I have a lot of potential to do with them. So, yeah, that's it. Game Dude 2003 says, are you gay for Jar Jar? Hell yeah! <laughs> Jordan Film said... When will Aquaman come out? So I'm kind of doing an Aquaman thing, and um, it's going to be in his universe. And um, when is that going to come out? That's going to come out. It's going to. I'm I'm do working on it before I work on um any Lego Batman series, right? So, well, any Lego Batman episodes. So I'm basically just going to um, 
I'm it's gonna take a while. I'm start I'm starting to do the um the script and it's going pretty good. It's kind of hard because I don't have much source material for Aquaman, so I kind of have to make up some stuff. I watch rewatch Justice League, and like I'm trying to get some stuff of Mirror's character, <laughs> Mirror only Mera or whatever only has about like th two minutes in the movie, which is funny. But um, yeah. So the precise date when that's coming out, I'm not sure. It's in a while, not not. Like, not that long though, probably a month or something. Or less than a month, probably. Probably four weeks or something like that, you know. Um, so, I'm probably gonna work on that and I'm just gonna do the rest of my Lego Batman series. Because I'm very, I really just want to do my Lego Batman series. Um, I want to work on that and I'm gonna finish that and then I'll see what else I can do. Um, yeah, so that's the answer to that question. Thank you so much, guys. We've almost got 200 subscribers. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And seriously, I will do another um, video if we have lots of questions. Come in, just ask whatever. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do another one in the future, probably. I'll do a Q&A probably once a month or something like that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Almost got 200 subs. And see you later. Subscribe and I will send you a little bit of ham in the mail in 10 years, okay? So, if you subscribe right now, you, you'll get ham in the mail in 10 years. It'll probably go rotten, but it's true. 100% subscribe and that will 100% happen. No clickbait, no nothing. Subscribe. Do it, or you have no life. Just do it.